gives this woman away to this man. <laughs> We're all here today to celebrate the relationship of Connie and Blake to be witnesses and supporters of the commitment they share with one another. They would like to thank each of you for being with them today. And they know that making the journey for some of us took grateful effort. Although considerable effort uh, for a good many of us was taken, um, they're deeply grateful and thankful. You shared in their best and their worst days. You're an irreplaceable part of their yesterdays, their todays, and their tomorrows. A marriage needs the help of a community of friends and family who will be there to stand by the couple during hard times and during happy times. Each and every person here today will witness the words that they will speak to one another and the vows that they will make. May we always do within our power to support the union that will be made here today and to nurture the bond between these two people whom we love. They would also like to recognize all of those who couldn't make it here today as they are certainly missed but not forgotten. This includes Blake's grandparents and Connie's grandparents, Sally, Rocky, and Connie. Marriage gives structure and permanence to a couple's love. It's a way to tell one another that no matter how much Connie snores, <laughs> or how often Blake plays video games, that you're in this together. It's more permanent than the weird tattoo that Blake got on his arm when he was 17. <laughs> and it has like more staying power than like the amount of times, Connie can like manage to fit the word like in any one sentence. <laughs> Marriage is telling the person you love that you're not going anywhere. That's a powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. A good marriage must be built on the foundation of this commitment. In marriage, it's the little things that are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. 
It's standing together and facing the world. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. And it is not only marrying the right partner, but being the right partner. I would like now to read an Apache blessing. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there's only one life before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years. May happiness be your companion and your days together be good and long upon the earth. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car, over a meal, or during walks, all those conversations that begin with when we're married and continued with I will, and you will, and we will. All those late night talks that included someday, somehow, and maybe. All those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all, these, all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. Look to one another and remember this moment. Before this moment, you have many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, dancing partner, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another over the past few years. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life. And things between you will never quite be the same. After today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. Connie and Blake have written some personal vows that they would like to share. Connie, we'll start with you.
Do you, Connie, take Blake to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, <laughs> for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward until death do you part. Do you, Blake, take Connie to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward until death do you part. Connie, as you place this ring on Blake's finger, please repeat it to me. With this ring, I marry you and offer a symbol of my everlasting love. Blake, repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you and offer a symbol of my everlasting love. Connie and Blake have declared before me and before all of you, their family and friends, that they will live together in marriage. They have symbolized symbolized it by joining rings or correction joining hands <laughs> taking vows and exchanging rings by the power vested in me by the universal life church <laughs> i now pronounce you husband and wife blake you make this your bride
reception will be at 5 o'clock at the Strader Hotel.